Yo, you, you ever spot a diamond in the rough only to realize it's just a piece of glass? Yeah, I'm talking about that girl you thought was a 10, but turned out to be a 2. That's right. We're diving into the deep end of relationships today, peeling back the layers of illusion and over-idealization. You know, those times when you're seeing gold, but all she's really bringing is lead. And that's the real tea, fellas. So buckle up, because we're about to get real. You know what's as deceiving as a politician's promise? That girl you're crushing on. Yeah, you heard me. We all have been there, haven't we? We see a girl, she's cute, or maybe she's drop-dead gorgeous. She's got a smile that'd make the sun feel shy, and a laugh that echoes through your mind long after it's faded, and just like that, you're hooked. You're imagining picnics in the park, late-night movie marathons. Hell, you're probably picking out names for your future kids. But here's the kicker, fellas. You're building a castle in the sky, and you're about to tumble down hard. You're putting this girl on a pedestal so high, even she can't reach it. She's human, my man, just like you and me. She's got her quirks, her flaws, her baggage. She's not some magical creature who's gonna solve all your problems and make your life a dream. She's not gold, she's lead. I remember this one time, I was head over heels for this girl, right? She was the epitome of perfection in my eyes. I was ready to write sonnets about her beauty, to paint her portrait in the stars. But when I got to know her, really know her, I realized she wasn't the girl I had built up in my mind. She was real. She had her insecurities, her fears, her bad habits. She wasn't the angel I had made her out to be, but she was human. And that was more beautiful than any illusion. We do this all the time, guys. We create this perfect image of a woman in our minds. And then we get disappointed when she doesn't live up to it. But the truth is, no one can live up to that image because it's not real. It's all in our heads. So next time you think you've found your Beyonce, remember she might just be a Becky with the good hair? All right, you've seen the illusion. Now let's talk about the harsh reality. You know, we've all been there, right? Seeing someone and thinking they're the embodiment of perfection. But let me break it down for you. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, I said it. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has their flaws. Even that girl you've been daydreaming about. Yeah, her. I hate to burst your bubble, bro, but she ain't gold. She's lead. Let me hit you with a scenario. Picture this. You're at your favorite joint, having a chilled out evening, and then she walks in. The room seems to light up, right? It's like she's got this golden aura around her. But here's the reality check. That's just the beer goggles talking. Take them off and you'll see she's just as human as the rest of us. Now, I'm not saying she ain't special, but she sure ain't perfect. She's got her quirks, her flaws, her bad days. Maybe she snores like a freight train, or maybe she's got a temper hotter than a New York summer. Heck, maybe she can't cook to save her life and thinks cereal is a perfectly acceptable dinner. But that's the beauty of it, ain't it? We're all a messy mix of good, bad, and the downright ugly. And it's high time we start seeing people for who they really are, instead of who we want them to be. It's easy to put someone on a pedestal, but it's a long way down when they inevitably fall. So here's a piece of advice from your friendly neighborhood straight talker. Next time you're caught up in the whirlwind of infatuation, take a step back. Take off those rose-tinted glasses and see her for who she truly is, imperfections and all. Remember, a relationship ain't a fairy tale, it's two imperfect people trying to make it work. And that's the beauty of it, the real beauty. So the next time you see her walking down the street, remember, she ain't gold, she's lead. Now that we've ripped off the band-aid, Let's talk about acceptance. You ever try to cram a square peg into a round hole? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen, right? Same thing with trying to mold a person to fit your ideal. It's like trying to make a silk purse from a sow's ear. But here's the thing, fellas. Acceptance ain't about lowering your standards or settling for less. It's about understanding that every person you meet is an individual, not a tailor-made accessory for your life. Let's get real for a second. We've all been there. You meet someone, they're shiny, they're new, they're exciting. But then you start to see the cracks, the flaws. Maybe she's messy. Maybe she's got a weird laugh. Maybe she doesn't like the same movies as you. So what do you do? You try to change them. You think, if I can just get her to be a little more like this or a little less like that, everything will be perfect. But here's the kicker. It ain't gonna happen. I've got a buddy, name's Tony. Tony was dating this girl, beautiful girl, funny, smart, but she was a vegetarian. Now, Tony is a steak and potatoes kind of guy. 
He was driving himself nuts trying to get her to eat meat. One day he finally got it. He said, you know what? This is who she is and I love her for it. And that's when things started to get better. Acceptance, my friends, is the key to healthier and more satisfying relationships. It's about seeing a person for who they truly are, not who you want them to be. It's about embracing their quirks, their flaws, their differences. It's about understanding that there's no such thing as perfect, and that's okay. It's not always easy, but trust me, it's worth it. Because when you accept someone, you're not just accepting their flaws, you're accepting their whole self. And isn't that what love is all about? Uh, acceptance ain't just for AA meetings, fellas. It's for every aspect of life. You're probably thinking, how do I embrace this reality? Well, let me tell you. First things first, you gotta start recognizing the signs. You know what I'm talking about. Those red flags that you've been ignoring like a pigeon dodging traffic. They're there for a reason, buddy. That's reality knocking on your door saying, hey, wake up. You're not dating a movie star. Next, stop living in a fantasy world. We're not in a soap opera here, folks. This ain't days of our lives. You're not going to find a flawless gem in a sea of pebbles. Everyone has their quirks and flaws. So if you're waiting for that perfect 10 who loves watching football, cooks like a gourmet chef and doesn't mind your snoring, well, you might be waiting a while. Third, start appreciating what you've got. The grass may seem greener on the other side, but remember, that's just because they're using more fertilizer. You know what fertilizer is, right? Yeah, it's crap. So instead of drooling over the neighbor's lawn, start watering your own. Fourth, get real with yourself. Take a good hard look in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I bringing to the table? If the answer is not much, then it's time to step up your game. You can't expect a queen if you're acting like a joker. Finally, communicate. I can't stress this enough. If you're feeling something, say it. If something's bothering you, speak up. This ain't a game of charades, fellas. You've got to express yourself clearly and honestly. If you can't do that, then you're not ready for a real relationship. So remember, fellas, keep it real. No more chasing illusions. Embrace the reality, and you'll find that it's not as scary as it seems. It might even be better. Because let's face it, reality has a way of keeping us grounded, keeping us honest, and most importantly, keeping us happy. So why not give it a shot? After all, the only thing you've got to lose is your illusions. So remember, fellas, keep it real. No more chasing illusions. All right, we've had our laughs, we've shed some tears, but most importantly, we've learned something. Now, let's not get it twisted. We've been through the ringer today, fellas. We faced the illusion, the mirage that's been clouding our vision. We've talked about the gold diggers, the heartbreakers, the ones who are shiny on the outside but lead on the inside. We've had that reality check, and it was a slap in the face, wasn't it? But that's the truth, my dudes. Some folks are just like that, but it's not the end of the world. It's just a part of the game. You got to roll with the punches, keep your guard up, and most importantly, keep it real. Acceptance, that's what it's all about. We got to stop chasing the fantasy and start embracing the reality. It ain't always pretty, but it's real, and that's what counts. It's not about finding the perfect partner, but about recognizing the imperfections and still deciding to stick around. That's when you know it's real. So here's the key takeaway, fellas. Don't get blinded by the glitz and the glam. Look beyond the surface, see the lead, accept it, and move forward. Because in the end, it's not about finding a golden goddess, but about finding someone who's real, someone who's worth your time. And remember, if you liked what you heard, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out our other videos for more real talk. Peace out, fellas.